Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel, Creative Grandma. I have an exciting book review for you today. This is called The Modern Guide to Granny Squares and awesome color combinations and designs for fun and fabulous crochet blocks. Now this book, please forgive me if I'm not saying the names correctly, Celine Simon and Leonie Morgan. I hope I pronounced them correctly. Now when I was at the bookstore I always try to look at the crochet books because I'm always looking for something inspiring and just the cover of this book with those bright colors and those fun different style granny squares just caught my eye and I thought you may like to see this book because sometimes if you live in an area like me all the bookstores are closed the only place I can see crochet magazines anymore are in the grocery store so unless I drive almost an hour away to look at the books I'm not sure what's out there so let's go ahead and take a peek inside now I always like to show the ISBN number so look real close it's 9780593332016. Now this has been published by Corto Publishing and you can see all the information on the editors and the designers. Now this book is from 2021, so it has been out for a couple years. So you're going to see the table of contents with a sneak peek of some of these gorgeous blocks. And then it's going to tell you the page number that you can find the design on. Now it also has a page that tells you all about the book, how to use this book. Now I like to show this part of the book because it's telling you how to use the book. Not only do they give you the written instructions, they also give you diagrams. So some people know how to read diagrams, but they don't know how to read the written instructions. So it's a great book. If you're reading the instructions and you're not sure, you can always look at the diagram. So let's go ahead and look at the first block. The first block is called the Picnic Time Block. It's a classic gingham that would be perfect as a picnic blanket. Now this block size is 6 by 6 inches or 15 by 15 centimeters. The next block is the raised popcorn block. This raised stitch is so much fun once you get the hang of it. Now this block measures 6 by 6 inches or 15 by 15 centimeters. Now they do have the skill level up here. You can see it's three dots, so I'm going to say probably an intermediate skill level. And then again, you can see that it has the diagrams with the written instructions. This block measures 6 by 6 inches or 15 by 15 centimeters. The next block is called the sugar flower block. This is a great way to learn how to do those 3D flowers. Now this block also measures 6 by 6 inches or 15 by 15 centimeters. The next block is called a 3D heart block. Popcorn stitch creates a raised heart and a delicate scalloped edge mimics a lacy border. Now this also measures 6 by 6 inches or 15 by 15 centimeters. So I'm seeing a theme here where all the blocks are the same size. So you can get creative and join these blocks together to form an afghan. The next block is the pastel grid. A great block for trying out ombre effects. Now this block also measures 6 by 6 inches or 15 by 15 centimeters. The next block is called the Citrus Slice. Again, this block measures 6 by 6 inches or 15 by 15 centimeters. What a cute way to make a block. And if you don't want it to look like fruit, just make a solid circle in the color and call it a circle in a square block. How cool is that? The next block is called the Bright Shimmer and it's essential to have in your crochet pattern collection. So this is just a basic granny square. It measures 6 by 6 inches or 15 by 15 centimeters. What a great way to use up all those extra little balls of yarn you have. 
The next block is called the double crochet square, a single color block that is ideal for combining with more detailed blocks. Now this is a beginner skill level, is 6 by 6 inches or 15 by 15 centimeters. And what I like is down here, they also show you some mix and match of which blocks you can use together to form a project. The next block is the Intarsesia Triangles. This block creates an interesting diagonal pattern. This block measures 6 by 6 inches, 15 by 15 centimeters, and it's an intermediate skill level. Look at this block. Isn't that pretty? This is called the Modern Floral, a beautiful flower block that is a great way to try out some new stitches. Now this is an intermediate skill level and the finished block measures 6 by 6 inches or 15 by 15 centimeters. I really like this one. The next block is the Scattered Hearts block, a fun contemporary block created with tapestry crochet. This is an intermediate skill level and it measures 6 by 6 inches or 15 by 15 centimeters. The next block is a basic single colored granny square. Perfect for beginners, you can also make this plain square into a rainbow of colors. So you can match the solid granny square with that brightly colored granny square I just showed you. This block measures 6 by 6 inches or 15 by 15 centimeters. The next block is the two color square, a twist on the classic granny square with endless color combination possibilities. This also measures 6 by 6 inches or 15 by 15 centimeters. So I like that they kept the blocks all the same size so it's easy to mix and match them into a project. The next block is also a two color color block double crocheted square, an easy essential to have in your crochet pattern collection. Again, this block measures 6 by 6 inches or 15 by 15 centimeters. The next block is the 60s floral motif. A riot of color, multiple squares would make a lovely pillow. Well, this would also make a lovely afghan. This block measures 6 by 6 inches or 15 by 15 centimeters. Another great way to use up all those odds and ends of yarn. The next block is the houndstooth pattern. Crochet the timeless monochrome fashion print that never goes out of style. Again, 6 by 6 inches, 15 by 15 centimeters, and it's a beginner friendly pattern. The next block is called the Peaches and Cream block. This square uses color and stitches for a striped effect. Again, the blocks measure 6 by 6 inches or 15 by 15 centimeters, and it's a beginner skill level. The next block is the Sherbert Square, a really simple square that shows off fresh, juicy colors. 6 by 6 inches or 15 by 15 centimeters. Again, it's a beginner skill level. The next block is the Diamond Days block. Now this is something that would really make a stunning afghan. It is an intermediate skill level and the block measures 6 by 6 inches or 15 by 15 centimeters. Can you imagine this when you put those blocks together? A beautiful geometric shape would be on your afghan. It would just be stunning. The next block is the Rainbow Relief, an interesting square with raised 3D effects that is fun to crochet. Again, this is more on the intermediate skill level and it measures 6 by 6 inches or 15 by 15 centimeters. This next block is an unusual block. It's called Sun and Clouds. Crochet a pocket full of sunshine with this pretty square. Now this is an intermediate skill level 
and the block measures 6 by 6 inches or 15 by 15 centimeters. I just thought this was so cute. So the next pattern is called the Jello and Ice Cream. This fun design is reminiscent of the kids' party favor. And again, it's the same size as all the other squares of 6 by 6 inches, 15 by 15 centimeters, and it's more of an advanced beginner pattern. Next, we have the multicolored target block. When you finish this gorgeous square, you'll feel as though you have hit the bullseye. And that's exactly what it looks like. Again, the square measures 6 by 6 inches or 15 by 15 centimeters. And it's a beginner skill level. Here's another pretty block. This is called Acid Bright's Flower. This square would make a striking central point of any design. The block measures 6 by 6 inches, 15 by 15 centimeters. It's more of an advanced skill level. The next block is called the Ombre Cross. The popcorn stitches create a cross that stands out from the double crochet background. Again, all the blocks are the same size of 6 by 6 inches or 15 by 15 centimeters. The next block is also a very pretty block, and this is called the Warm Tones. This floral design brings a modern twist to the granny square. It's an intermediate skill level, and it measures 6 by 6 inches or 15 by 15 centimeters. Now, because all these blocks are the same size, are you getting ideas of which blocks you would put together into an afghan? The next block is called the Technicolor Square. The gorgeous colors in the square create a rainbow of design possibilities. It's a beginner skill level and oh so pretty. And again, same size as the other blocks. The next block is called the Brighton Rock. These cool marine colors with a pop of sunshine bring to mind a day at the beach. This is a beginner skill level. And again, the block is the same size as 6 by 6 inches or 15 by 15 centimeters. The next block is the four leaf flower. The flower is worked first, then crocheted into the base square. Now, this is an intermediate skill level, and again, all the blocks are the same size. Then we have the bobble beads. This fun square would be perfect as part of a baby blanket. Now this is an intermediate skill level and you can just see all the possibilities of joining these blocks together. The next block is called the cool toned triangle. The use of cool colors in this design create a striking square. Now remember when you put these blocks together if you turn them in different directions you can create all kinds of design possibilities. The next block is also a really pretty block, and this is Dazzling Octagon. The brilliant colors radiating from the center of this square create a mesmerizing design. This is an intermediate skill level, and again, so many ways to use up all those scrap yarns we have laying around. The next block is the Pop Flower. Work this square in different colors to make your project pop. It's an intermediate skill level, and again, the blocks measure 6 by 6 inches or 15 by 15 centimeters. The next block is the crocheted flower net. The chain spaces create a beautifully intricate fabric. Now, this is an intermediate skill level, and again, all the blocks are the same size. If you want to add some fun to your block, how about the loop and twist block? The loop and single crochet stitches create a fabulous texture. Now, this is more on the advanced level, and the block measures 6 by 6 inches or 15 by 15 centimeters. The next block is the watermelon slice block, and it does look like a watermelon. This block is an intermediate skill level, and the block measures 6 by 6 inches or 15 by 15 centimeters. How fun would this be for a summer picnic afghan? The next block is the rainbow arch. Now this is an intermediate skill level or more on the side of an advanced beginner. Just a great way to use some of those bright, fun colors and to create your own rainbow. And again, the block is the same size as all the others. 
Then we have the stripe color block. This block alternates contrasting colors to create a striking look. Now this is a beginner skill level and the block is the same size as all the others. And again, if you look down here, it's giving you ideas of which blocks to put together. This is a cute block. This is the cute kitten. Use scraps of embroidery floss thread to add feline features. Now this is a beginner skill level. How fun would this be to make a little kitty blanket? And again, the size is the same as all the other blocks. The next block is called the patchwork block. Now this is a fun way to add some interest to a traditional granny square. This is an advanced beginner skill level and the block measures the same size as all the others. So those were all the blocks and now I'm at the end of the book and there's even projects that you can make to give you ideas of what to do with those blocks. So let's go ahead and take a look at the projects in the back of the book. The first project is the rainbow arch wall hanging, a larger version of the rainbow arch on page 92. This wall hanging will add some boho style to your home. You can make one for all of your friends. Now this is a beginner skill level and the finished size is nine and a half by eight inches or 24 by 20 centimeters. The next pattern is the citrus slice pillow, a cute bright addition to any home. Just imagine a whole row of these pillows adorning a living room. This block is a great way to explore color. Now this pillow measures 15 and 3 fourths by 15 and 3 fourths inches or 40 by 40 centimeters. Next, we have the rainbow chevron blanket. Snuggle up in the colder months with this cozy blanket. You can easily make it smaller and give it as a new baby gift or larger to cover a whole bed. Now this blanket size measures 36 by 36 inches or 92 by 92 centimeters. Do you need a storage box? How about the Minty Tone Storage Box? Store children's toys or books in this handy little box. It's so easy and quick to make. Why not make one in all the colors of the rainbow? Now this is a beginner skill level and the box measures six by six by six inches or 15 by 15 by 15 centimeters. The book even has a crochet basic section where it's going to tell you all the information about materials and notions, starting and finishing your project, basic stitches, simple stitch variations, special stitches, color work, and then it's going to tell you how to read the patterns and the charts with the symbols and abbreviations. And then it's going to talk about gauge and blocking, joining and edging. And then you're at the back of the book where it has the index. So again, it's not your usual grannies. This book has over 40 unique granny square designs as well as ideas for projects to make your finished square. So this book, I paid $23 here in the United States. It's $31 in Canada. But because it's a couple years old, you may be able to find this book at a lesser cost online. Check out Amazon. Check out your local library. Check out your favorite bookstore. I hope this video has been helpful. I hope it got you inspired to maybe try a new project today. So until next time, stay inspired and happy crocheting.